Christmas! Merry Christmas! And welcome to the Chateau de la Lande's 2020 Advent Calendar. Every single member of the Chateau household is going to be involved in these videos. Mm -hmm. Marie with the florals. Yes, there'll be Kat in the kitchen. Yeah. And Selma. Yes, he'll be doing a bit of yeah. Christmas carpentry. So there's a lot to look forward to. But in a chateau, there is so much decorating to do in preparation for Christmas. Yeah. So I hope that you enjoy following us over the next few days as we get this chateau perfectly ready for Christmas. It's a lot of fun making these. It's so much fun and I hope that you enjoy watching them and that you find a lot of inspiration for the season ahead. Hello and welcome to day 23 of Advent here at the Chateau de la Lande and now we've caught up with where we were. We had pre-filmed some vlogs before but with my illness recently I've had to take a little bit of time off which means we are now basically filming on the day for that day. It is the 23rd of December here at La Land, and as you can see we're putting the tree up. I'm trying to block it a bit so you don't get too much of a glimpse before I show you the steps leading up to this. So now we're going to go back to the moment when Ian, Philip and I went to buy the tree at the local garden centre. We're here! <laughs> We've come with Ian to the local garden centre woohoo, to buy this year's Christmas tree. And we've already found the one we want. It's the one it's decorated the one, their building. Yeah, right in front of the building. Do you reckon they'll sell us that one? I think they should. I think they should. Why shouldn't they? It would be prestigious for that tree it's to come to no, La No good to them after next week, so they might as well sell it now. Let's go and chat to them. Let's do it. Let's do it. Have a mask. Thank you very much, sir. I think it's quite nice and, and rounded. I mean, it's clearly too tall. Hmm. I like it. Let's go and see if there's one indoors that wouldn't involve them dismantling everything. Well, I like them. I think this one is okay. I wouldn't mind it being a little bit fuller, but this mm. is the biggest one that they've I got, that, these two. That's that way. That's so we need to remember what these look like and then go and have another look at the display one and see if they would sell us the display one. Okay. Yeah. We asked to buy the display tree, but they didn't want to sell it to us. They told us, however, they had much bigger trees out back. Every year I buy trees that are too big for the house. <laughs> <laughs> so... Okay, give me. Oh. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Every year so far, we've strapped it to the roof of the Jaguar. <laughs> So everyone's super relieved that we came with a van yeah. this time. <laughs> I think it's in the intro as well, right? In the yeah, Christmas. Uh, yeah, in the intro, intro to Christmas, you see it arriving with the tree. And it was this gentleman who helped me put it onto the Jaguar every single year. So this is this is a real step up. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. C'est moi. C'est moi. Et joyeux Noël. Et oui, parce que c'est bonne fête. Bonne fête. Today just keeps getting more exciting. Now we're going to go and try to find tiles for Nick and Marie's bathroom. Let's see if we can find something that's even longer than our tree. <laughs> <laughs> We've had more fantastic prints framed. Yes, the South African one. It's just beautiful. That one had a broken glass, so we've repaired that. And all of these are great, and no. Now we're on our way to the, to the mouse. We're not on our way to yes, the mouse. We are. <laughs> no, we're not. Can you talk sense into him? No, he's Dutch. There's no chance, I'm sorry. I've tried it, I have Dutch. Oh no, oh no, he's veered off. <laughs> I was going to buy a bunny rabbit. <gasps> Has he gone? I think he's still there. Step away from the mice. Hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> It's very lucky that you're here because obviously we need a landscape architect to deal with a tree. Well, uh, I'm very good at carrying trees, but I can't open the door. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think Ian must have locked the van. Yeah, probably. Yeah, I'll have to crawl into the van. So, why didn't we ask the guy there again to cut the tree down? Well, we didn't know how much it would need to be cut down by, or whether we uh, want to take it from the bottom or more from the top. We've got to see the shape of the tree to decide. I mean, it looks like a fat one. 
I think you'll need to rinse it down as well because... Yeah, it was in mud. There's a lot of soil on it. Okay. Excellent. We Welcome tree. That should be fine. Buying the tree was only the start of the great tree saga of 2020. Once we'd bought it, we had to get it into the room and my sizing might have been just a touch off. You yeah. want a five meter tree for a three meter I thought high. It, okay, the reason I bought a five meter tree for a three meter high room mm -hmm. is that I thought it would be a bit fuller that yeah. way. Mm. Yeah. And get those straggly bits. Talking about fuller, you're in the draft. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and so it begins, the 2020 tree saga. So here is the tree, well it was, is it five meters still? No, it's four meters it's four now. Because I had one meter chopped off yeah, really at the shop. Yeah. Uh, this seems like too much trunk, doesn't it? Yeah, quite a good trunk. We don't need all these little bottom leaves. We can cut those off, you see? Easily, yeah. Yeah, and go the, back up that the way. The diameter of this trunk is 14 centimeters and the stand is 13, so uh, we should try to remove good. about as much until it's thin enough to fit into the What stand. a great idea. Yeah. It looks like it thins over here. Yeah, it goes down. Yeah, it does, quickly. it starts to thin, yes. But then you also run the risk of taking off the, the biggest branches and making it much slimmer. Yes. So. Um, why didn't you cut it down to a three meter tree when you were in the shop? Well, I wasn't too sure exactly how we would want to cut from the bottom or the top. I couldn't see the tree properly. I felt that the fine tuning needed to be done by this tree dream team here. Okay. Yeah, we need a, a chainsaw or a bigger saw to cut through the stem, the, the stem of the, the tree itself. All right. Okay, well, I'll leave you to get on with it. Okay. I look okay. forward to decorating it. So we've got a couple of things. Yes. Uh, we have a Sean Christmas tree. Oh, a Sean it's one. A, it's a microscopic. Did one. you mistake it for? A bonsai. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't want a bonsai Christmas tree. Yeah, but don't look over here. <laughs> These are the... Whoa! Marie will be delighted. It was like me at the hairdressers the other day. Wow, that. Okay, so first thing, we're going to find out where we're going to put it. Okay, let's go have a little look. That's a lot of branches that came off. Are you sure you didn't mistake it for a sheep? <laughs> no, no, we did not. <laughs> right, I think it should go over in this corner where we've had it in previous years. Or how about this corner? Um, it's further away from the fire, it will dry out less. It's two days till Christmas, Michael. I think that it drying out is not our biggest worry. Okay, no, it's soaking wet at the moment. <laughs> okay, so. I think here is good because this is a bit of a lost corner. Can we still use the bathroom then? Yes, we're still able to squeeze past. Oh. Are we? Oh. Yeah, we have been able to in previous years. Because the powder room is. Can I give you a. Thank you. <laughs> and if you just stand there, Philip, for the rest of Christmas, that would be lovely. <laughs> well, hang on. Has anyone got any better ideas as to where it should go? Here isn't bad either. Well, there's that there's door, plug. which is more used. Yeah. Oh, that's a better point. There's no plug. Yeah. yeah. Yes, and there's no plug. I thought, I thought Michael's idea was I fear that when we're all staring at the fire, our focal point is over here, right. and then the tree will be behind us. Yeah. Whereas this way, we can see the fire and the tree. This is it. The moment we've been waiting for. She still looks quite big as you're carrying. I was a little worried when I saw it outside. <laughs> it's not Christmas until I've seen you carting a ridiculously oversized tree. How did you get it, Uh Back of Ian's van. Oh, much more sensible. Wow, you did that really well. You made it the perfect size. How hard was it? Wait, wait until we've actually got it up before we say that. Did you need to use a chainsaw? No, we use a regular one. Okay. The pine is a soft wood, so it isn't mm. difficult to cut. Now it has to go underneath. Yeah. Do you need to towards me? Inside it. 
this way. That's not towards you, Michael, in any way, shape, or form. Okay. I'll just hold on to this lamp. <laughs> yeah, you made it through. <laughs> okay, it needs to come towards you at the base, otherwise the horse is going to get it. Something broke. Ah, uh, what broke? Oh, the ceiling broke. It's plaster, I think. Uh huh. So we're okay, touching something. Okay, that'll be interesting. Oh, I see the bit that fell. Yeah, That's I fine. see a little bit that fell. Okay. It's okay. like an old repair. Okay, so the base needs to come this way because the horse is in a very precarious position. Yeah. yeah. There. Move the base. Okay, we've got a bit of a problem. Um, let's move, let's get it that way. Oh, oh it's still against something. Oh, that was against the beam. Yeah, it's okay, it didn't scratch. So if we just take off the, the little bit at the top. I think so, I think it's just that that's scraping. Yeah, okay. I'm It'll fit without that. I'll get the secretary. So. <laughs> and you don't think just another few branches at the bottom? No, because we'll lose too much width at the base. Just one maybe? One's kind of blocking it quite a lot. No, I think that we're probably good then. I think it'll fit. Famous last words. I don't think so. I just don't. <coughs> um, do you, we need to keep these bits for? No, we are plaster that. Prosperity. Shall we go down completely or leave the the, the, the measly one on top? Uh, no, I think the measly one's not, not doing much for us. Okay. Wow, those things are strong. Or yeah. you are. No. They'd be strong. <laughs> Yeah, it's Davy, isn't it? Aha! Uh -huh. Woohoo! Oh, that's way better! <laughs> well, right. bye, Michael. See you uh, after Christmas. Help. <laughs> Help. <laughs> At least Michael will be able to go to the loo. No yes. one else will be able to, but he's fine. Yeah, I think we can go forward a bit. Away from me. Yes. No, that does run the danger of letting him out, Davy. <laughs> ah, yeah. Uh, that's your choice. <laughs> Put more to the front and your right. Okay. But more. This is beautiful. It's a really beautiful tree. Yeah. Now we just need to get the rest of the netting off it. Do you have a pair of secateurs? Um, well, the one thing we have is secateurs, but I don't see how that's going to help us. I think we no. need scissors. We need scissors. Okay. Like what you've done to your jumper there. What do you mean? <laughs> it's a good look. Yeah. Christmas right. look. You've done well though, haven't you? Yeah, well, we got it in. It's... You've got to admit, it's a beautiful tree. It's not the right base though, that upsets me. No, there are going to be so many gifts around there that we actually did need it lifted quite high. Okay. Because... May I just draw your eye <gasps> to some of the parcels that have arrived for all of us for Christmas. And wow. there as well as another pile, there's a lot of gifts to go under the tree. Okay, we might have to move the desk. <laughs> Aha, the scissors have arrived. The final beauty of the tree is about to be revealed. Maybe Davy's the person to do this, yes. Michael, being about yes. a foot taller than you. <laughs> okay. How tall are you, by the way, Davy? One meter ninety-five. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> looks like cobwebs coming off it. It looks a little bit like a magical tree that carries on growing through the ceiling and into the room above. Yeah. I love it. I really love it. It's beautiful. Good. I think a new tradition is born to use the second half of a massive tree in this room <laughs> every year. Well done, Davy. Thanks. Is this similar to the one you usually have in your apartment? No, I don't have a Christmas tree in my apartment. You don't usually put a Christmas tree in? No, I don't. Not even a little tree? Nope. Is that because you work with trees all year? Oh, no, not particularly. My parents had a big one, mm. but always a fake one. Yes. And they've had the same one for 20 years. Yeah. Um, and it's a, it's a beautiful one because it's it's beautifully filled. Yes. Uh, but it always looks the same. Uh, so it isn't 
particularly special for me personally. Mm, mm. It's a good one. Fantastic. It's going to drop down a bit more. Very, very impressive. Tonight, port, nibbles, mince pies. And a step ladder. Christmas carols, decorating the tree. Yeah, and a step ladder, definitely. But first we needed a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Uh, yes. <laughs> and that footage brings us up to this morning when Philip and I realised that we urgently needed to go out to do some last minute Christmas shopping and to buy the food for Christmas Day because I'll be cooking that day. You ready for this? I am ready for this. Do you realise how many gifts we need to buy? I know, we only just got the list. It's insane. We're doing a secret Santa and we've just received the likes and dislikes list of the people that we are supposed to be buying for. And it's the 23rd. <laughs> Yeah. So we've come to La Chatte, which is our little local town. It's really pretty. There's some lovely little shops here. So we'll show you around. Have you seen the poodle? Oh my God. The poodle? Where's the poodle? <gasps> the truck. No, no, it's, no, that's not what we're here for. I no know. one else has said they want hedgehogs. I am getting that hedgehog. You're not getting the hedgehog. I am getting a hedgehog. This is ridiculous. I mean, have you the seen house is going to be overrun. The little birds are so sweet. Okay, let's see what treasures are inside. I really like the Shadow Puppet Theatre. There's no one that I've got on my list who would actually enjoy that, but it's really nice. Philip is asking about the hedgehog in the window. This is real, this is happening. I can't believe it. You just asked to get it wrapped for your son. <laughs> she asked, would you like it wrapped? I was like, no, why not? <laughs> are you going to open it from yourself on Christmas Day? I'll be Christmas very surprised. <laughs> The little hedgehog in his little wrapping, ready for Philip to open from Philip for Philip on Christmas Day. It'll be a real surprise. I'm going to open it as soon as we get home. You're ridiculous. <laughs> You're not opening as soon as you get home. Yeah, yeah. No way, I'm staging intervention. No, it's you got it wrapped. Present. That means it's a Christmas present. No, it's I don't not. care who it's from. You're not opening your Christmas presents before Christmas. <laughs> Shop number one done. Yeah. Uh, one hedgehog got... and let's have a look in the bag. I haven't got anything for my secret Santa, but I bought <laughs> a hedgehog for me. <laughs> it's going swimmingly. Yes. <laughs> we're in another shop and we're doing pretty well. We've managed to find another three presents and none of them are woodland animals for Philip. So we're on the right track. This is starting to creep me out. <laughs> <laughs> is that 84 euros? Yeah, oh, it's all different kinds of animals. It's 84 euros. For the four? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, what was I thinking? Total dragonfly, bargain. <laughs> bat, dragonfly, and... Huh. And again. 84 euros. I know, it's ridiculous. Eugene is lovely, but wow. Yeah. Step away from the hedgehog. I am, don't worry. We've just been to the bookshop. We're actually pretty laden now. Look, this is a lot of bags and it's raining. Yes, so let's go to the car. Well, I wanted to go to the chocolate shop. As well? Of course. Okay. It's such a lovely little shop. I mean, we're supposed to go to the antique shop as well. Oh yeah. Oh, so much still to do. We're looking in the window of the little antique shop, but sadly it's closed today. Um, we both really, really like the desk. And I'm quite drawn to the teapot on top of it. <laughs> it's quite sweet. <laughs> Tea for one whilst at work at the desk. And I don't know for sure, but this looks like the work of the sculptor Ernest Niven, whom we saw in the museum in Chateau Roux. It's so lovely. There's the antique coiffes that women used to wear to cover their hair. This is the beautiful chocolate shop. The oldest building still in La Chasse. There's a huge queue outside the chocolate shop. Look at the beautiful, beautiful building. Isn't it extraordinary? The building dates from the 15th century and still has its spectacular original door. There's quite a queue, so we're going to have to wait outside for a little while. What are we going to go for? Mmm, everything looks so good. 
this shop is amazing and I happen to know that Davy is obsessed with chocolate. And they have awesome teas as well. Have you seen the Mariage Frère Christmas teas? Look, they're the prettiest packs. Hallelujah tea, mysterious stars, Christmas strawberry, Christmas orange, autumn rose. And in here, in all our goodies, yes, this, this is for the shoppers. Is it? <laughs> yeah. Look, the shoppers also need little treats, not just hedgehogs. This is raisins soaked in sauterne, covered in chocolate. Sounds good. I'm just having them in the car. Good. Oh, we didn't do badly. No, hands are all crammed up. Right, supermarket next. Yes. These are the traditional French bouche de Noël. And there's one missing here. It was the biggest one because we grabbed it for Christmas Day. <laughs> There we go. The French eat a lot of seafood at Christmas, so there's an entire oyster section there. A lot of seafood. This is the local goat's cheese from this region, which is rolled in ash and it's always put around a piece of straw through the middle. Okay. So I have some of this goat's cheese. I've also got some delicious brie. What else have I chosen? A ton from the Basque region of France. Of course, a truffle cheese. You have to have a truffle cheese every Christmas. This one is interesting. It's a camembert that has been infused with calvinus. Oh. So that seems festive. Uh, anyway, lots and lots of cheeses here. I went a bit crazy. Brussels sprouts don't arrive till tomorrow, so mm -hmm. we've got to come back. It's always like this at the last minute on Christmas Day. <laughs> Unbelievably, having just done the food shop and thinking we can finally go home and start decorating the tree and also editing today's video, um, Michael texted us and said that he and Davey were looking to start putting the lights on the tree to get things moving and they can't find our Christmas lights. They've gone missing. So we're now back in the garden centre, which we don't seem to be able to stay away from. Nope. And we're getting Christmas lights for the tree. Christmas is saved. However, I have just had an email from the company that I ordered the turkey and chipolatas and bacon and all sorts of British things from, um, all the meat side of Christmas, who have said that in fact, it might not be delivered until the 26th to the 28th of December. So it might be a good idea to put some contingency plans in place. And I ordered it on the 3rd of December. It was such a long time ago. So we bought an emergency turkey, the largest one in the supermarket. It's absolutely minuscule and Ian, the builder, has told me he's got a goose in his freezer that he's very willing to give to us. So we have a contingency. We might not have a very big turkey on Christmas Day, but I very much doubt we'll starve. Is it like this for everyone? Are other people more organised? I always seem to have a last minute Christmas emergency. But we'll have fun. I'm sure we will. <laughs> Especially as you've now got your hedgehog. Yeah, I'm so happy. <laughs> you won't notice if there's no turkey on the table. <laughs> <laughs> you could eat the hedgehog. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> Are you ready for your creme brulee chocolate? I'd love to try it. Go. Good, you've got another one of those because I'm planning on eating all the cherry ones. Love the cherry ones. These are my favourites. It's dark, it's dark chocolate with a whole cherry inside soaked in liqueur. Mm. Pure liqueur. Home sweet home. Let's go decorate a tree. Christmas delivery services have arrived. Oh, cooters. <laughs> Hello. You need lights, sir. Yeah. You rang. Yeah. Father Christmas wanted. Wait, them. hang on. There's only 34 here. 34 meters don't mess with me. 34 meters, three packs. Okay. One and a half thousand lights on each one. Surely that's going to be enough. No. Okay. 3,000 lights on the tree, 4,000 lights on the tree. And they twinkle as well. I don't want them to twinkle. <laughs> Hang on, please tell me they don't. They twinkle, yeah. Yeah, but surely they can also be still. Eight, eight function twinkle effects, including static. <laughs> <laughs> so I am going to leave you to put the lights on <gasps> and then I'm going to come help for the glamorous bit uh -huh. because now, because I was ill, I did actually need to take one day off after that. I think I, I overdid it. Um, and just to get myself well and also to go to the doctor and the pharmacy and everything else that I needed to do and have tests, I, I had to take a day off. And that means that we're now doing the advent calendar in real time. It, it is the 23rd of December at Leland. And Happy birthday, Mum. <laughs> 
happy birthday, my best mommy, Judy. Wow, hi. Um, but the thing is that I have to film on the day and edit on the day and upload in time for this evening. So I'm apologizing in advance if this doesn't go out at the same time as usual, it might be a little bit later. I am going to start editing now, then I'll join in with you, then I'll carry on editing. That's the plan. Actually, it's all Steph's cunning plan to get out of doing the lights because she hates doing the lights. Yes, yes. And she'll do anything to get out of that's, this project. It was a cunning plan. Yes, I'd rather be editing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but I know how you like it, Michael. Always gets me to do the lights every single time. Every single time. He's like, You do the lights much better than me. You do, you do the lights, do you do them so much better. And I'll come and put the baubles the on. Balls. Can't do that this year, though, can you? <laughs> I've got a golden excuse. I'm going to be busy after this. Merry go round. <laughs> Tree go round. Last year I. Wow, Michael, Hash, Davey, that is amazing. I'm so glad we lost the lights. Seriously, Michael, I'm so glad we lost them because these are so much better. What do you mean we lost them? Did we just misplace them? Well, I'm sure they're gonna turn up during the year. I've got no doubt whatsoever. They're somewhere safe in the shop. What exactly are you doing right now? Opening a bottle of port. <laughs> We've got the hard part to do, so we've got to get prepared. Uh, I see what you did here. Yeah. You made an epic mess. Um, would anyone else like a glass? <laughs> a tiny bit. Yeah. I don't know, it looks, it looks like a sort of grand hotel in central London. That many tiny little fairy lights. I can't believe we just got these at the local garden centre. Great job, guys. Michael, if I open the box, it says lights on it. Am I going to find the old lights? Sure, maybe. Don't, nice. don't scare me. That would be ridiculous. No, <laughs> you're saved. <laughs> Good. Well, let's start putting some baubles on. If we get all of these big gold ones on first, mm -hmm. and then the lovely big green and red ones, and then start putting all the other things on. Okay. I'm sorry, are we disturbing your port drinking and mince pie mm. eating by mm. trying to decorate your mm. tree? <laughs> it's much, much more enjoyable. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Let's get started. Okay. Right, right behind you. Here we go. <laughs> this is it, Davy. We're doing the first baubles. Okay. I'm guessing that as you don't bother having a tree in your own flat, this isn't your favourite part of Christmas. <laughs> no, uh, we weren't allowed to put the baubles on the, the tree when I was small because they were all antiques. So <gasps> children's yes. fingers would have broken them. Well, uh, you're safe to put them on here. <laughs> you can go wild. Yeah. One-handed bauble placement. Yes, I love these lights. Here's Hash with mince pie delivery services fresh from the kitchen. Okay. <laughs> and I'll be back. Okay. You You'll just be looking after those, will you, Michael, I think, for us? I think I might have been Atlas. <laughs> I can't tell you how much I love this tree already. I don't even think we really need to put any baubles on it. It's so pretty. Oh, well, we're done then. <laughs> yeah, nice try. <laughs> what do you think of the lights, Philip? I really like them. It looks really pretty. And it's so bright that your eyes started to tear up a bit. When you look at it. That's not the brightness, that's your emotion staring at the tree. All my allergies. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think this is our best yet, Michael? Um, in fullness, I think so. But it, I'm a bit concerned about us lacking a head. No. Yeah, it just... It carries on in the room above, Michael. Okay. <laughs> oh, that is a good one. That's a good one. Where did you get that one? This is Venice, I believe. Hand-blown glass from Venice. Murano. Beautiful. Oh, it's so nice to have all these memories as we put them on. Yeah, and what's great with this one is it brings the tree down a bit. Yes, we need to weigh these branches. So, heavy baubles on the outer tips of the branches. Here's another one from Venice. Excellent. That one's going up here. Who's this? That's me! In fact, that's the photo that's in the intro to all of the advent vlogs. We had some made of all of us one year, it's really nice. Mummy mm -hmm. and Percy. I'm going to put them onto the tree now. Bond and Nefertiti. 
Yeah, Bond and Nefertiti. No, they won't like to be here. They want to be keeping an eye on us. <laughs> We're going to have to put them around here somewhere. Let me guess, who put this one on? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I didn't even need to ask. Who'd have picked up the mouse? I thought it was really cute. Christmas mouse. Have you seen Christmas Hedgehog? No, where's Christmas Hedgehog? I just found him. I haven't put him on yet, wait. This is a very masculine tree decorating. I've never seen so many men decorating a tree before. All the women have gone. Yeah. Wow. Um, wow. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> I'll put him in a tree. I really love how seriously you're taking it. I've got one for you to put up. <gasps> Daddy! That's the one that looks exactly like my father. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, I'll be putting Daddy on the tree. You can go up near the top. I think he'll be very happy up here. I see how this is working, Hash. You're choosing them here yep. and handing them to the men. Yep. Okay, this is great. I feel like there's a mastermind at work here and the mastermind is you. Did I hear a rumor of a Christmas wombat? It's right there. He's on, <laughs> he's on the tree. Christmas Wombat's first Christmas with us. And you're very welcome, Christmas Wombat. Christmas Koala, we left on the Kensei. Yeah, well, fair enough. I do think that Christmas Koala has found his natural spot and doesn't want to move from there. I think it's time for another Christmas Hedgehog. <laughs> you can't fool me. That's the same Christmas Hedgehog. Maybe I don't want to for one. You're yeah. joking. Oh, there. We had two Christmas Hedgehogs? Yeah. We are rich in hedgehogs. Yes. My place then. Perfect. I feel that if it were down to you, the entire tree would just be woodland animals. <laughs> and baubles. Look at this one. <laughs> Christmas ring <reindeer>. too. <laughs> I love these. We've got good baubles, haven't we? Yeah. I told you that there would be treasures in that trunk. You're laden, Hash. You're <laughs> completely All laden. All my fingers are full of decorations. <laughs> Bear necessities. Yes, I love that one. Um, that one was from Marks and Spencers, I think, one year. Mm. Yeah. And, and oh, yes, yours. The one that doesn't match our colour scheme in any yes. way, but the you insist has to go onto the it's tree the, every the year. One that's allowed. <laughs> Do you reckon he's done that on purpose? Yeah. Totally. These little angels are made in South Africa out of old soda cans. <laughs> It is crazily it's beautiful. Very, yes, very weird colour of lights, right? Yeah, they're but, almost but, pinky, golden yeah. pink. Oh, I love the lights so much. It is amazing. Yeah, it it's is such, such a, a glow. It's such a, such a giant tree. It is. I think this is a new thing I'm going to do every year is buy a tree that's two metres too big and cut it down <laughs> like this so that it's just huge and round. Oh, and can you believe that it has only been decorated by men? Wow. Yeah. Bravo. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> well done, guys. Well, like, uh, they are all into decoration. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing. Amazing. Did you do this? No, I didn't. But You're joking. Know. I walked in and I saw that all the Christmas cards have been put out. Beautiful, maybe Kim? Yeah. Oh, I think yeah? Kim was, yeah. Wow, yeah. Kim did that. Wow. It's beautiful. Yeah. The tree is done. Yeah. What do you all think? It's, it's really beautiful. Nice. It's amazing. Yeah. You can still see a little bit green, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's a tree, though. There's a tree sign. You did the most <laughs> amazing job. Seriously, the most amazing job. I don't know where Hash is, but he did the most amazing job, too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. incredible. Oh, it's Percy. Yeah, right, and Mummy. Oh, I didn't recognise you, but... You're on the tree as well. <laughs> Found us, Marie. I'm yeah, have you seen yourself? Well. You're yeah, on the yeah. tree somewhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Really you are on that. <laughs> you are. Oh. Okay. We're going to be singing this hymn in English and in Dutch and in Norwegian simultaneously. Yes. But it doesn't matter because we're all singing the same sentiment. Yes. And hopefully the same notes. It's <laughs> all the same words. <laughs> oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. How sang it up at one Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree, how sang it up at one It kept the birds in Boston's time, since I'm baby, oh, it had 
And if you would like to see the one that I made last year with Michael Patrick, I will put a link to that now. Merry Christmas to you all. Merry Christmas.